1st today, the Texas Historical Commission is commenting on that letter mm -hmm. from Judge Lloyd Neal that asked for the OK to tear down the old Nueces County Courthouse. Now that letter we told you about yesterday, just the beginning of a long road ahead to get something done. Here's our Emily Hamilton now to map it out for you. Lee, under an old grant agreement with the Texas Historical Commission, the county cannot demolish the old courthouse until 2027. That's why Judge Neal is asking to be let out of this agreement. I talked with a spokesman from the Texas Historical Commission about that request. This all comes after the latest effort to restore the old courthouse fell through last month. Judge Neal said the county has exhausted all of its options, so demolition is the only answer now. But that has to be okayed by the Texas Historical Commission. A spokesman tells us this case is the first of its kind. We've never removed an easement from a property that's received a grant that we administer. Florence is talking about two emergency preservation grants the county got in the early 2000s. The non-demolition clause was a condition of those grants. Florence said the Texas Historical Commission meets quarterly and expects discussion about the courthouse to begin soon. There's meetings in October, January, April, and July. I would think that it will be on the agenda, you know, shortly. From there, the Texas Historical Commission will decide whether or not to authorize the county's request. Judge Neal said there are plans in place if that request is denied. And if they said no, then Senator Hinojosa and Todd Hunter and Abel have assured me and the others that they're willing to sponsor legislation in the next session to have that covenant removed. Judge Neal also said some people have already expressed interest in the property under the condition that the courthouse is gone. Judge Neal said this is the first step in that direction. Lee. Well, as you heard, the spokesman for the State Historical Commission didn't give a precise timeline for a final decision.